Hello everybody, I am Clint from Princess Craft RV and today I'm at the Round Rock location and we're going to talk a little bit about the Thetford Toilets, the MDC USA trailers, uses in a number of their trailer models including all the XC16HR models. I have a XC16HR Island, a family, there's a few different models, we've got them lined up here. And they all use the Thetford Cassette Toilet. So let's talk a little bit about that. I know that in the American market, we're very used to having large capacity black water tanks that we that we have the typical sewer hose and all that. However, this is a very good option that is used all around the world, including the US on very nimble, small trailers, and it just works well. Is it the solution for everybody? Probably not, but it might be the solution for you. So let's go through the use of the Thetford cassette toilet on the MDC USA trailers. One thing I really like just starting off is that MDC has a very easy access, but it's a very high quality access. You're gonna notice it has two release buttons and it's lockable because you don't want someone to steal your poo. So let's go ahead and check out that door. Two releases there. It's a good thick door. It has a nice seal on it, good gasket on it. So there is, and voila, the cassette of the Thetford cassette toilet. Let's talk about how to prepare it for use. So maybe the first thing for prepping your Thetford cassette toilet for use is making sure that there's flushing water in the system. There are systems that, have, that use some of the water from the fresh water tank. This system, however, has a fill tank, so it carries its own water tank. You'll be able to see the level of that water in this clear tube. But to fill it up, we rotate this out 90 degrees, we take off the cap, and we just add fresh water to the system right here. Maybe something to keep an eye on just by using that sight tube. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that there's some toilet chemical in the cassette tank alone. So let's talk about how to get that cassette tank out and then introduce the chemical. And then we'll get into how to dump the tank once you're at a capacity to do so. Let's move forward. All right, so if I can invite the camera in with me, I'm gonna show you how to get this cassette toilet out. Well, the cassette of the cassette toilet out. And you're gonna notice there's a little release handle right here, and it's pretty simple. You just pull up on it. It's not a push down release, it's a pull up, and it slides out pretty effortlessly. Did you hear that click? Let me do that again. That click is actually this cover right on top, closing. That's your friend. When you slide the toilet in and you hear that click, it's actually opening that cover to make that valve accessible to the top end of the toilet for use. When you hear that click and you're sliding the cassette out, it closes that and keeps you from seeing and whatnot what's going on there. Let's talk about how to introduce some of the toilet chemical to this to make sure that it's a, a better use for you. You won't have as many smells, maybe not any smells coming up. All right, so this is just a fill accessory. I'm gonna set it aside. And let's talk about this. To put toilet chemical into this tank, we're gonna do this. We're gonna rotate that up, open the cap. This is a good time for me, may, me to maybe mention, I really do um, encourage you to use rubber gloves, nitro gloves, uh, wh whatever, some gloves whenever you're doing anything with the toilet, whether they be chemicals or actually dumping the tank. For obviously obvious reasons with the dumping the tank, but tank, but you don't want any chemicals on your skin either. Could be irritating of some sort. So we'll introduce toilet chemical in here. For a cassette toilet, I don't actually prefer myself the little pouches because they are very concentrated and if they don't have enough water just sitting in there, they can become a little bit gooey or gelatinous, which can be a problem. So I like the more liquid that you pour in, you measure it out, you pour some in, and then I still like to add a little bit of water to the tank itself. Then we'll put the cap back on and close it up and have it ready for use. Before we go really into the the heart of the matter here. I do wanna say for a little bit of a maintenance purpose here, there are some seals on this and you'll see one underneath this lid. I'm gonna push that up and I'm gonna actually take it off. There's a seal right here, it's a rubber seal and there's a seal inside this cap here 
And those seals are really important to the function of this. You don't want those seals to wear out and to become leaky at all. So I would suggest that you maintain those. Thetford actually makes a seal product that I would use to, to clean this. And their manual actually suggests that in a pinch, you might use olive oil, but they do suggest do not use another cooking oil like vegetable oil or canola oil. So really the best bet is to use a product that is specifically for this type of rubber seal to keep it pliable and make sure it's still doing the job you want it to. So again, there's a seal there and there's a seal here. When it's time to clean this tank, it's really good to use, again, a product that is not too harsh from a chemical standpoint because you don't want it to wear out the seals or cause problems. No, I guess there'd be a seal here. You don't want to wear out the seals and you don't want it to eat away, it'd be too harsh on the tank itself. So I would use maybe the Thet for product for it or something that is made for these type of materials so that you have years and years of problem-free use. Let's move on to how to dump this tank when the time comes. Okay, so you've used your camper, it's been a few days, and you notice that there's a light that comes on on the indicator inside, right beside the toilet. Now, when that light comes on, you only have two, maybe three more uses left before this tank has reached its capacity. I don't like to get that close to the edge of a cliff. So when I see the light come on, it is time right then to go ahead and dump the tank. So maybe you're in the same uh, mindset as I am. Maybe you like to live more dangerously than I do. But when that light comes on, here's what I do. I go ahead and make sure that the valve inside, the flush valve is closed. Now let me, while, let me take a moment and show you what that's doing. I'm gonna take this lid off again and you're gonna see a valve here. Now the flushing system in the toilet bowl obviously has water and whatever else you personally add to it. When you open that valve to flush, it turns this handle, which opens into the tank and everything from the toilet bowl goes down into the tank and then closes. Another reason you really want those seals because that valve is right up against the seals. You really want those seals to be maintained and taken care of. After a few trips and whatnot, two, three trips, it's a good time when you get back to put your gloves on, take this off, once it's empty, of course, and wash everything down, let it air out, and take care of your equipment. Now, tank is full, time to do something with it. We have to get everything inside here into a dump station or into a vault toilet at the campsite or wherever. So we need to get it there. We've pulled it out using that release handle. We've pulled it out. This cover is done all good and well. We've, we are ready to tote this and we use the wheels. We pull this handle up and just like luggage at the airport, we just roll it to our location. Once we're at the dump station and we're gonna come on down with it. Once we're at the dump station, I'm going to go ahead and put this handle back down and remove the cap from the dump station or lift the lid at the vault, vault toilet. And I have my gloves on, rotate this out, take the cap off and carefully put it to the inlet to the dump station. Now, I don't like a glugging situation. That means splatter and less control. I want it to be smooth as possible. I'm sure you do too. So what they have is a pressure release valve. You open this and what it does is it normalizes the pressure. It doesn't allow there to be a vacuum inside here. That's what causes the glugging is that vacuum trying to normalize itself. Glug, 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 splatter, splatter, yuck. Okay, so we're turning it down and we're pushing that once the valve is pointed down. You do not want to have this pointed up in any way and open that valve. You, bad day, okay? Because that means that all the weight and pressure is trying to run down to the bottom of the tank and you're opening that, that pressure valve at the bottom, it could potentially come out this way. Always point it down before you push that button. Okay, we've done it. Let's stand back up. You're good to go, right? Well, it's probably a good time to add a little bit more tank chemical and a little bit of water back into the tank if you have availability to do that 
at the dump station or the vault toilet. If not, get back to your campsite and maybe do that before you put this back in. Let's prep this to go back in. Toilet chemical, a little bit of water. Put the cap back on. Make sure it's sealed really well. We're gonna rotate that back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this fill device right back there, just for storage. Here we go. And I'm gonna slide it back in. And that lid's gonna open with a nice positive click. There we go. Good time now to top off the flush water once again, because we've obviously used it and we have checked our site window to see where we're at. Let's go inside and just talk about the use of the toilet system inside the camper. All right, welcome. Let's talk about the use of this Stepford cassette toilet. So obviously it's got the normal cassette toilet functions, but on this side that you probably can't see from that view, there is a little uh, light indicator. Now, as I mentioned outside, that indicator light comes on when you only have about two or three uses left. And once that light comes on, I'm, I'm all over the task of going ahead and, and emptying it. There's also a blue button here. And that blue button is what, the, what fills the bowl with flush water. Now, when you're using this toilet before you go, particularly if you're going to going number two, as they say, you want to put a little bit of water into the bowl first. So add a little bit, maybe an inch or so of water and then do your business and then add a little bit more water. And then there's a pull handle. Let's see if you can hear it. Yep. Pull handle. Okay. So that's just opening the valve that I showed you on the top of the cassette toilet when I was outside. So it's a very positive system. You can hear it, you can feel it, you know what's going on. And then you use the flush water. Don't use too much because then you'll have to empty it more often. And then close that valve and you're good to go. Now, some people recommend that you keep a little bit of water in the bowl when it's not in use to keep the smells from coming up. I don't know if it actually helps to keep the smells from coming up, but Thetford does recommend in the manual that you do not keep water in the bowl. It's, it can be a bit of a waste of water. You'll end up using more water. And if you properly maintain your tank and your valves and use proper toilet chemical, then you are not as likely to have smell a smell issue anyways. So it's a little bit more of preparation goes a long ways versus these little kind of keep the water in the bowl kind of tips and whatnot. They also want to make sure that you do not travel with water in the bowl because bumps. It can maybe slosh a little bit out, get on the floor. Nobody wants that. So there you go. That's the inside use of the Thetford cassette toilet. My knees hurt, so let's take this outside. Well, that does it for this discussion about the Thetford toilets that are used in the MDC USA trailers. I do want to mention that they typically come with an owner's manual. Do read that. And some of the chemicals that I mentioned, there's going to be an, a, I guess, a sample pack or starter set that should come with your trailer as well to make sure that you take care of and maintain that toilet and it gives you lots of service. Pay attention to how you maintain and keep it clean. Pay attention to its use. And you should have lots of fun out there on the trails with your MDC USA trailers. I encourage you to check them out wherever your closest dealer is. We're in Round Rock, Texas. We're also in Houston, Texas. So princesscraft.com, come see us. And it has been a pleasure showing you the Thetford toilet system used in the MDC USA trailers. I'll see you next time.